In this video, I'll show you how to resize your images from within our Kindle template. Now I have another blog post and video about how to create and optimize images for your Kindle books using Photoshop Elements or free online software. So you could always check that out. But if you are working in the template and you just have an image or two and you want to just do it really quick, you can do it from within our template in Microsoft Word. I'll show you exactly how to do that. So here's an image here. And this is um, an image that takes up almost the full page in Word. So you would think, oh, this will look good on the Kindle. It'll probably take up the full Kindle page. Not true. Because the page dimensions on Word are different than the page dimensions on the Kindle. So one thing you need to remember is that when you're working with images, you do not want to put an image on the Kindle that is more than six and a quarter inches wide by 8.33 inches tall. If it's more than that, it'll get split up and chopped up into different pages, and then it messes up all your formatting. So a lot of people really get messed up on this, especially if they're not using our template and don't have these videos, uh, and it messes up their formatting. So I'll show you how to actually make sure your images are okay. So what we're gonna do is right click on this image and it doesn't matter if you're using Word on the PC or Mac it's the same thing you're gonna right click on the image and click format picture and then it might be on the picture tab I think it defaults to the picture tab so you, what you want to do next is click over here where it says size and this is the current size of that image Rem remember I said for the width it can't be more than 6.25 inches well it is more even though it looks good on the Word page, this would be too wide for the Kindle and would actually get cut off and mess up your formatting. And the height shouldn't be more than 8.33 inches, but right now it's 9.24. So this would totally mess up your formatting and really could mess up many different pages of your book. So let's show you how to fix it. What you wanna do is go down here to the scale section and you want to make sure this lock aspect ratio is checked. That'll mean that your picture stays with the same aspect ratio so it's gonna look right even if you size it down. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the height area here and I'm gonna just click on this little down arrow right there and watch what happens when I do that. Watch what happens, these numbers will automatically change. See that? They're, they're changing. So what we, we want to do is make sure that the width is 6.25 inches or less and the height is 8.33 inches or less. So both have to be in that range. You can't just have one that's correct. You need to make sure both are like that. So I'm going to keep going down and here we go. So that's perfect. It's exact. Sometimes it won't be exact. You might have to go smaller on the width, uh, but this one is exact 6.25 8.33 so now we can just click OK and now this image is perfectly optimized for the Kindle in terms of the image size so if I right click on it and click format picture now it's actually 8.32 which is great so 6.25 by 8.32 so that's gonna fit perfectly on the full page of the Kindle device and that is how you can resize these images. Now the other thing you want to make sure you're careful with in terms of images is you want to make sure that you're using JPEG files and that the file size is nice and small because you don't want to put large bulky images in there that slow it down and add to the download size of the file. So be careful there. We've got videos on that on our blog if you need help. And if you have any other tips or suggestions that you would like to see in regards to Kindle formatting, let me know and I'll pop out a video for you.